Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Today a Kickstarter launched and I don't want to talk too much about the Kickstarter because I'll be talking more about that at some point in the near future. Um, but it was a Kickstarter for a game called Bloodstained Ritual of the Night and uh, this is a game coming from a creative mind behind Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, basically this person worked for Konami. Konami didn't want to fund the production of this genre anymore, so this person has left Konami, and they're trying to make another Metroidvania-style game, um, and they're looking at crowdfunding for doing it. This is relevant because uh, Fangamer is doing the physical rewards, um, and also is just closely involved with the game's creation anyway. And I'm good friends with the people at Fangamer, and they've decided they want YouTubers to uh, help promote the, the Kickstarter. Um, so one of the things they want us to do is play a game on our channels that is either um, by the creator of Symphony of the Night or heavily inspired uh, that type of genre, etc. So I figured, why not just do Symphony of the Night? Seems like a good idea. So I, I wanted to do a first 20 of Symphony of the Night, and I didn't actually own it. But I figured that Player's Choice may have a copy, so I asked them if they had a copy, and they said, yeah, we do. You should come in. So... I, uh, I went to Player's Choice tonight and got a copy of Symphony of the Night, because I'm going to be doing a first 20 on this. Um, fun fact, I've never actually played this game, but I'm a fan of Metroidvania games, because I'm a huge fan of Super Metroid, and also I played Shadow Complex a few years ago and really, really liked it. Um, I've never actually played Symphony of the Night, but from what I understand, it's kind of the king of the genre. If you like that style of game, Symphony of the Night is the one to play, so I'm pretty excited to actually play this. However... When I went into Player's Choice, they had that game there for me waiting, and they said, we got something else that you might be interested in. And I was like, okay, what's that? They said, um, we have a mint complete copy of Trombone. And I was like, really? <laughs> really now? Uh, if you're not aware, um, there's a game for PlayStation and I guess this is spoilers that I bought it. Uh, there's a game for PlayStation called The Misadventures of Trombone. It is a spin-off of the Mega Man series. I'm not a huge Mega Man guy, but I'm familiar with the game just because of its rarity and value. It's extremely rare, to the point that I have never seen a physical copy before, and it's extremely valuable. It was not super cheap, but I got it, um, partially because I've never seen it before. Um, it's, uh, from what I understand, Mega Man Legends 1 came out for PlayStation 1, and this girl was in it, um, which her name is Tron Bon. And uh, afterwards, there was a spin-off game that came out, and I believe it's actually a prequel to Mega Man Legends, and it actually includes a demo of Mega Man Legends 2 as a separate disc, which is really, really interesting. So there's actually two discs in here. This is complete, um, and on the disc is a demo of Mega Man Legends 2, which is really neat. So... I got this tonight, but I was not expecting to buy this when I walked in the door. You have to understand, that it's very rare that I find a game I've never seen before, because we go to, we go to shops all over the place. Um, anytime we're traveling, we seek out game stores and, and go to them, etc. And uh, I've just never seen a copy of that game, let alone one that is complete, because a lot of times on eBay you find them, but it's either only the disc, or it's missing something. Generally it's missing like the demo disc, for whatever reason. Uh, but that one is complete. So I got Symphony of the Night. I just also spent a little more money and got uh, Trombone. But still, I'm I'm glad I got it because uh, I've never seen it before. I also picked up a few other things, um, just worth noting. I got a copy of Super Mario Strikers uh, for the simple fact that it's a game that we've been asked to show on the channel at some point in the past. Um, many times before, actually. People really like this game. I know the Mario sports titles are pretty popular, but it seems like Mario Strikers is like the most popular sports game, so I figured we could do a first 20 of that in the future. Um, Sonic Heroes, I've never played, and I want to do a first 20 on that. And also, um, Pikmin for the Wii. I have Pikmin for the GameCube. I got it, um, I think it was a launch title, and I got it at launch for the GameCube, but, um, whenever I was with Emil this weekend, we, we, uh, we played a little Pikmin 3, and when we did, I was like, you know, the, the Wii control actually makes this game a lot easier. So if it is like that for the Wii, then it makes the game better. So I'm actually kind of excited to to play that. Um, 
and also we're thinking of we've been thinking of doing a, a let's play of Pikmin anyway. So I think it would be better to play it with the Wii Remote. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but hopefully it makes it better. So yeah, Trombone. Um, literally one of the rarest and most expensive PlayStation 1 games there is. Um, but I got it. Actually, fun fact, just like a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like that, it for the first time came to uh, the PlayStation Network. So, Which is really great, by the way. Um, a game that costs tons of money is now available for you know just a few bucks. So if you've ever wanted to play this game, and apparently from what I've read of the, of the reviews, the game is actually really good. Um, if you've ever wanted to play it, you can get it on the PlayStation Network now, which is really, really awesome. And I know some people will say, well, don't you feel dumb because now the, the value will go down? Not really. I mean, from what I've seen, like it, with Earthbound, everyone said, well, when Earthbound comes out um, for the virtual console, the value is going to go down. That, that didn't actually happen. The value has stayed the same. Um, it was a little rocky for a while, but then it just went right back to where it was. So I have a feeling that Trombone will probably keep its value. It is a far rarer game than Earthbound. I've seen Earthbound many times over across the years, and I've never seen Trombone before. So pretty happy with tonight. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you recently got a cool game pickup, please let me know. I love finding out about um, you know your guys' collection, maybe something you found. Uh, at a store. It's so fun to walk into a store and find something that you are not expecting to find, so let me know, because I, I, I want to share in your joy. Uh, that's it for today, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? So, I gotta ask, since you're apart from your wife this week, were you feeling malnourished? That's a meal. That guy did a flip! <laughs> He's a gymnast!